hey y'all welcome back to my channel so what i got for you guys today um requested by one of you lovely ladies in my comments um how did i get into budgeting and i think that's a really important topic so welcome back if you are an oldie but goodie and welcome if you are a newbie I don't really have my life together on this channel. So um, if that's something you're interested in and seeing me struggle, hit the subscribe button down below, comment, like, whatever your heart desires. And uh, if you're interested in seeing how I got into budget, then just keep on watching. Right. Okay, so. Let me finish this candy. Why did I cut this on with a piece of candy in my mouth like I was gonna be able to talk? Okay, I took that. All right, so how did I get into budgeting? Four words. Not even four words. One word. One word. Broke. B-R-O-K-E. I was always broke, y'all. Like, I'm in the military, yes, don't get me wrong. We not rich. Or, okay, let me not speak for everybody. I'm not rich. I ain't never been rich. I'm working on it. But, um, I ain't rich. So, I had to, um, I had to make some changes in my life. And let me tell you how I really got into, like, the whole Erin Condren, like, planets and stuff. So, my cousin posted a video and or not, yeah she posted on snapchat and she posted a picture of her life planner that she ordered from Erin Condren and at the time I didn't know nothing about this community I didn't know nothing about a planner like I would just wake up every day and just go and buy my business money and all swipe swipe I do all that so she posted her life planner and uh she had it like all decorated with her family so her her son and her husband and um I was like oh my girl Geneva I said, well, girl, where you got that planner from? And she was like, it's from Erin Condren. If you order, you know, you get 20% off. So I was like, oh, okay, that is so pretty. So that turned me on. And that was when she was having her 25% off sale, like, at the beginning of the year. Because you know when it's the new year, everybody started planning. Like, you know how you said the New Year's resolution. Everybody started planning. Everybody getting their planner. I was on that. I was on that, too. So I was like, okay, let me go order one. So I ordered one. But before it got here, because it took a while, I started to go on YouTube and I started to look up like how the planner looked on the inside and like what people use it for and that's when I stumbled across E. Michelle, Shea Budgets and my all time fave Mama's Got a Budget. I relate to her so so much because she's a single parent and she just keep it real. They all keep it real but I can relate to E. Michelle and Mama's Got a Budget because they're both single parents they both have they have kids and so i can relate to that because that is my situation and i relate so well to mama's got a budget because she's a she's a single mom i know and her channel is just her channel is just dope so they all their channels are dope and i'll leave them down below but so i went on there and i got i saw their stuff and i was like okay cool let me look so i saw the deluxe monthly planner which is the one that i budget in if you're interested in it it's down below as well there's a link that you can go uh for erin condren so i saw that and i was like okay oh this is interesting so i first bought my life plan i got my life planner in and then i stumbled across the budget planner so i went and got the budget planner and so that's kind of in a nutshell how i got into it it was those three ladies that really really got me into it then i so i i you know i expanded past those and then i found jonay kiyoshi check out her channel and then i found crystal check out her channel i'm gonna leave all of them down below so then i found those you know just the other two and that's when i really really was like okay girl you gotta stop living paycheck to paycheck you need to stop swiping this card. Cash envelopes are a thing. I had never heard of cash envelopes until I ordered this book right here. Dave Ramsey. So I ordered that. So when I ordered my budget plan, I also ordered the Dave Ramsey and I ordered the workbook as well. So I ordered both of these and I had, I, I, he talks about cash envelopes, but I was like, ain't nobody about to be carrying no cash around, child. Somebody gonna try and get me. 
for my money if I have all this cash on me. I'm not doing that. I say, I'd rather swipe my card. But then I realized over the years, I'm 28 now. But over the past few years, I was always, I'm talking about y'all, heart be racing at the register. You, They tell you your total, you're like, here you go. You trying to hurry. I'm always trying to hurry up, check my USAA, make sure I got some money in there. Then when I look at it, I'm like, then they say over the proof. I'm like, oh, okay. Go look at my account. It's like $0 now or it's negative. It just, it just wasn't a good look. I got tired of my heartbeat and I had to pull a Kevin Hart. You know, my money, my checking, my savings is going to take three days. You, you got to wipe it on your pants. Like all that. I was just too nervous and I would get so scared. So I, I had to make a change. I had to make a change. So I started looking more and more like I'm talking about, I got addicted. I was looking at Shea Budgets, E. Michelle, Mama's Got Budget, YouTube channel faithfully every day. Like, okay, let me see how they do this. Oh, that's a good way. And if you notice, I budget similar, very, very similar to how E. Michelle budgets because I like the way she did it. It just worked out for me because I get paid twice a month. And so I would have, I prefer to do my paycheck to paycheck. Although I don't really feel like I live paycheck to paycheck now, but I do wait on my paycheck. So uh, I know before I was like always out of money when I needed to buy something for my kids. I did not have the funds like today. I just went and bought my son clothes and I've been saving. If you follow my channel, whenever I do my cash envelopes, I put money into that kid's clothing allowance. And I realized today and at the end of the year, I'm also going to do like a, um, a end of the year. What did I learn? Because I realized that the stuff, the $20, I think I was sending, I think I was putting 10 in the beginning. That's not enough for my kids clothes. So that's going to have to get increased next year. It's just small things that, you know, total up over time. And then back to school, I just, I forgot that she needs new boots. I didn't buy boots when I bought her school clothes. So it was just so much stuff. And actually they weren't selling them down here yet because it's just now starting to be winter. So I didn't account for all of that. So I know next year that'll be something that I'll have to, you know, address and look at. So once I got into that, and I started looking at all these other YouTubers and just studying and how they do it. And then I tried to put it towards my life. So um, I started my YouTube channel. And it's been what I think I started in February, the same time I opened my Etsy shop. And this was all just on the walk of faith. I was home. My mom was up here. And I was just like, Mom, I'm about to start an Etsy shop. Like I was standing up till 2 o'clock in the morning watching YouTube videos. And I was like, I could do this too. Like, I'm always like, I could do this. And I tried it and, you know, it's been going well. And I'm putting it out there in the atmosphere that it's going to get popping and I'm going to get better and better. But I know there's certain things that I just have to, I got to stay in my lane for right now. I have a full-time job and I'm talking about completely full-time job. So I cannot consume and put so much energy into this other business because the business that pays my bills and pays for you know my kids clothes and pays for all of that is the military and that's what i have to focus on and sometimes my personal business has to come second and i understand that i'm not gonna be in the military forever so you know my blessings will come when it's meant for me and when it's meant to come so i started my channel i saw how other two youtubers were doing it and um i just had to get my budget right so categories how do i get my categories when i do my budget i honestly looked at other channels saw what they were budgeting i saw i realized how much i was spending on groceries like i was spending two three hundred dollars a paycheck on groceries y'all there ain't no way i should be spending that much it's just me and my two kids and i realized i was throwing so much food away so that was, and I was like wasting, I was just wasting so much food. So I realized that give yourself an allowance. Um, so groceries, we get an allowance, a, a, a food allowance with the military. It's called BAS. Um, so we get that. So I was like, okay, so how much is that a month? And so I, I split that down the middle. Hence why I always do 150 on the first, 
150 on the uh, 15th. First paycheck and second paycheck. And I'll fluctuate a little bit if I can pull money in and out. I just do it based on what we gonna what we're gonna eat. So now instead of going grocery shopping, because I used to go grocery shopping for the whole month, and then I forget stuff or I didn't need stuff or I bought something didn't want it. So now I go on the first and the 15th. So I go every two weeks, which works out so much better because I see what we need and what we don't need when I go grocery shopping. So that's where I got the categories from. So I have I have a lot of categories. I know. I have a bunch. But it all makes sense in this little head of mine. I promise it makes sense up here. But I have a lot, a lot, a lot of categories. You do not have to have that many. Like, oh my budget plan up. I got a bunch. This is my budget planner. If you're unfamiliar with the um, if you're new to my channel, this is my budget planner from Erin Condren. And what it is, is it is a, I decorated this. I will not be using this, but I'll actually, I'll show y'all my new one. So this is my old one, but my new one, this is my new one. So it just says budget with Shamika and, um, I'll show you how the planners look. She actually changed it up this month, but this is how the inside looks. Hey, y'all see me through the little hole. <laughs> this is how the inside looks. And then that's the monthly page. And then all it is is four little line pages. Um across. So you just got more like notebook, notebook paper after. And that's what we use as budgeters. That's what we use to um plan out our budget so check out any of my other videos if you're interested in that in that but what i normally do is i'll set some october goals at the beginning of the month on what i want to accomplish financially for the month that i'm in and then i will set up my monthly spread and then i'll go through and i'll list out every single bill that i know for a fact i have to pay and i do have a how to budget how i budget um in one of my videos as well but i just go through and i have a lot of categories that is what i was talking about i get so sidetracked so i have a bunch and you don't have to have not this nearly as much as i have like this bottom half right here because that's the first and it's the 15 this is all my sinking funds and then on the back these are my cash envelopes so I have, I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven when it comes to cash envelopes. So your cash envelopes are more so you take you either you can make this a an amount that you want to pull from each month, like you know, every month or every paycheck, five hundred dollars is going towards my cash envelopes. That's it. Split it up however you want to split it up. I think the most I put into my cash on loss was like three or four hundred dollars. Like this month was three fifty five, or this paycheck was three fifty five. The one before that was three oh five, and that really comes into what I want to buy with my allowance and my uh, not my allowance, but my groceries and stuff. So it just depends. But just you can give yourself an amount and how much you want to pay, or you can give yourself. Um, you can go through, write all your bills out, and then subtract whatever or take whatever is left and divide it between your cash envelopes and your sinking funds and your sinking funds is just something that you want to save over time so say um like my 30th birthday say you want to save five thousand dollars and you find out what day you need this money by or you know when you can stop saving it and then starting and then just divide it by how much time you have so i got two years before i turned 30 and i'm trying to save five thousand dollars in two years so then what i'll do is divide five thousand by 24 which is 24 months and then divide that by you know two which will give me the first and the 15th and how much i need to send between both of them now what i've been sending recently is not enough i will hit a thousand dollars at the end of the year or a little over a thousand dollars but that's two years that's only two thousand dollars so that tells me that i need to increase it um a lot more but i did start saving late 
I don't think I started saving until a couple months ago for my birthday. So it may be a little over two or $3,000, but that's not enough. And I'm trying to save more. So I still, you know, plane tickets overseas somewhere, baby, they, they expensive. But so for cash and books, I have 11 and then I have like 13 or 14. And it's based off your lifestyle. Like I have OCPs. If you're not in the military, you're not going to need an OCP fund. Um, yes, they give us a clothing allowance, but it's not always, it's on, on your anniversary. So you don't get, say your uniform get messed up before your anniversary or anything. You need money and you don't want to pull from anywhere else. So I decided to give myself an OCP allowance. Um, envelope, car maintenance, birthdays, kids clothes, back to school, just anything like that. Anything that you feel like you want to save for over time would be the best option for you to do and i got a lot of my i got a lot of my inspiration from other youtubers and i'm gonna be honest like i got a lot of it from other youtubers and so that's where youtube is where to start youtube is where to start that's where i would start for someone that is trying to get into budgeting but i got into it because i was broke and i, I was tired of living the way i was living like i want to be able to be financially free and the only debt that i have right now is my car note i do not own the house we i moved too much i have not been stationed somewhere where i like it and i would come back i've only been to two bases so it's not like i have a lot of experience somewhere but if i get to a nice area i will not be buying a house in california not a chance so that's just what i would say that's how i got into budgeting that was how um i wanted to change the way that i do things and change the way that i budget or change the way that i use my funds so um thank you all and i really hope that helped and that answered your question girl you did ask me this question and I answer because I just love my subscribers and y'all always give me content and questions and all of that that y'all want to see. So if it, um, hope this was helpful, insightful, just a way to learn how I got into it. I found out about Erin Condren through my cousin and she basically started all this. This YouTube channel, it was because of her that she started it because I had no idea who Erin Condren was until I heard, um until i saw her planning thank you guys so 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 much for watching and i will see y'all in my next video bye